guys, it's Queen BJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to bringing to episode 19 of season 2 of Fruits Baskets. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, Well, it's too late. It's too late for that. I'm close, but close, close. And we're gonna have like a worse one than the last week's episode because I, I don't think as of right now anything could be worse than the last week's episode. I don't think I'm gonna have a moment where I like literally broke down while I was watching the episode and after I watched the episode, I mean, last Monday was a, like, Monday was a hot mess day, I mean, mm. but it is gonna get worse, I know it is. Oh, there you are. Oh, you okay? <laughs> That's true. Mm -hmm. Oh, don't take her. Oh, damn. Maybe to talk to Sugar. I mean, <laughs> no, honey. Of course. But I mean, she knows, and we know that she can.
And you still love him. can just see the walls that she has up all around her. No. Okay. But you know you're not. Oh, <laughs> 
my two girls, my two best girls. Oh, <laughs> 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 How embarrassing. <laughs> Toru, since you know her and Toru are like this now, so well, not buds, buds, but nah.
still want it, huh? Oh. Mature as well. <laughs> oh, I know that feeling. Death to me, no matter what. <clears throat> Other lives are in balance to try. It's not. True. Wind. <laughs> Wait, Tor. Yeah, you should do the same. <laughs> hey! 
Maybe if I try to get over there, they ask me. Uh-huh. Or you're too afraid of, you know, for that answer, you know? Hmm? Oh. I, I don't like what just happened. I, I do, but at the same time, I don't. But like, uh, like the way the look in Tori's eyes depressed and I'm like ah my heart like mm. but oh thank god I mean this episode it was good it made me cry tear off a little bit I, I was expecting to be hot mess like last Monday but no you just the feels I think next week or in the next few episodes yeah it might be another hot mess Monday I don't know but uh, the fact is, to me, it just seems like the reason why Doru couldn't answer Ren's question is because she is afraid. It's either that or she doesn't really know her answer right now. But she has two people, Kyo and Yuki, who are her potential love interest and who are there for her no matter what and so on and so forth. Because if she's there for them, they're there for her. It's like that. But I don't know. I mean... Ugh, like, I want her to go talk to somebody because she's now going into this rut and I don't like it. And it's just like, mm. I didn't even like the fact that she was having a dream about her mom and reminiscing on the day that her last day of life. Like, that hurts. And no child should really, you know. I don't know. Like, shit. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this to go this way. I love the fact that, you know, her and Rin. Are, I mean, will we consider her and Rin now friends? I, I mean, I would. But, like, if we want to go to, like, the first appearance that Rin made to the first appearance that Toru saw her in, yeah, like, I wouldn't say friends. But with seeing how that first time after Haru talked to Rin about Toru and she went to go see her and Rin is looking at her and she just feels all that warmth that Toru has that, you know, because she is the sunshine, she is the fucking sunflower, the goddess of this, the only one who can save this family. Just to the fact is that if if I was her, or in that situation, if you really want someone to just sit down and talk to you and you want to be heard, or you are just feeling a very certain type of way, whether it is depression or anything that you feel and you're just emotional you're hurt you're sad and everything and you just need someone to lean on i would have ran over to her but because of the fact is rin rin kind of reminds me a little bit of myself she's very um closed off and I, i'm like I, I am like that i'm a very shy closed off person i don't really show my emotions all the time and such and because it's a little bit of because of the way I was raised and then at the same time because I I was an only child and I was always by myself and so sometimes I have that independence and sometimes I don't really want to um, ask for help because I feel like in my opinion, because um, I felt like this a lot of times during like elementary to like middle school but then high school I was kind of okay, 
I felt like if I was asking for help, I kind of felt weak. And so to have that like independent, like ish and like, I want to do it on my own. I don't really want anyone's help. It's kind of like that with Rin and how she pushes people away. And she's like, I do want to do this on my own. But at the end of the day, you still need help. You can still be independent as fuck as much as you want to. But it's not like there's nothing wrong for you to ask for help or to have someone to help you. Whether that's Toru um, and Toru and Kyo and um, Yuki and Haru and any of these characters. Because they all feel a certain type of way because of reasons that I can't really go into yet. But still, I mean... Mm. The fact is that, like, slowly but surely, like, Rin's wall is depleting. And it only took Toru and the rest of them to just, like, embrace her and for her to be happy. I mean, like, seeing Rin, like, happy in this episode made me happy. It made me almost want to cry again. And just seeing her in a different light and not being angry or sad or, or even throwing up and stuff. Like, just seeing those that hurts you as a fan of hers but seeing her happy and even seeing Haru being happy because of Rin I mean I can't and I love these two so freaking much they're my favorite characters and I sympathize with them and just like, I just want to have a relationship like this too because the love that those two have for each other like uh I can't <laughs> I can't like mmm so good but this is a really good episode and just I, I feel like after this, this is just gonna be an emotional roller coaster until the end of the season and then we're gonna get into the final season and I'm just gonna be like, Oh, let's just cry all twenty something episodes. But other than that guys, that is my reaction to towards episode nineteen of season two of Fruits Basket. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, really helps me out. Also subscribe to my channel, I make videos every single day. Join my squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode twenty. Bye, guys.